Bonjour, everyone. Welcome to this transfer window reaction rant. Trying to hold it in all day, just trying to think, mate. <laughs> we'll get some news eventually. Yeah, the good news will come, but obviously it never bloody does with Newcastle United. Just to get us off my chest, really been putting on Twitter and stuff throughout the day. I don't really know we tweet that much, but today has been a day to tweet because it is deadline day. I've got it on in the background in case, uh, make sure everything in here is all right in that. Just in case anything develops, anything happens, I mean, it's not going to win Newcastle, is it? Let's be honest. Apparently, we can still hold on to the uh, hold on to the fact that we might, might be getting Hamza Chowdhury. Still trying to discuss uh, wages with him. There's a disagreement between Peony's wages. <laughs> obviously, obviously there's a disagreement between Peony's wages. <sighs> 60 grand a week, apparently, Hamza Chowdhury's on. £60,000 a week. Surely, we can afford to do 50-50 on that. Surely we can afford to pay half of his wages, 30 grand a week. We are the tightest club in the Premier League, man. It's an absolute joke. You've got even got Norwich in that scene in Ozan Kabak, who Liverpool had last season, but it took him. Loads of people signing on players. Yeah, that's kind of what's going to happen in the transfer window. Newcastle, eh? that's what the whole point of it is. Newcastle just get worse. Worse. Anyone else, we get worse. You know, regression, not progression. Under Mike Ashley, unbelievable man. So we we have actually somehow managed to start the season with a worse team than we had than last season. We've got Willock, right? We've got Willock, right? We spent twenty odd million on Joe Willock, right? Lovely, good job as well. You know, since he did keep up last season, pretty much the, that unbelievable run of goals. But that's 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 the bare minimum. That should have been the bare minimum. Getting Joe Willock, and we wanted to get him on loan. We didn't want to pay the money for him. We just had to in the end. I can't believe we even did that. But we've we've slashed two hundred thousand pound off our wage bill. We've got rid of Carroll, Muto, Atsu, Lejeune, quite a few players. I some of them are Deadwood, some of them aren't great. But why are we letting even Matty Longstaff go out on loan if we're not going to get in Chowdhury? If we're not going to get in someone better, letting Matty Longstaff go. And you've got Sean there, you've got Hendrick there, you've got Shite there. That's what you've got. Absolute Shite. Ah oh, man, it's just so hard to take, man. We shouldn't be surprised. It's the same shit every year, but. It just gets worse, doesn't it? It just gets worse. We started having a bit of an all right time, really, bringing in the likes of Wilson and St. Maximin in recent times. And then this year, we're the 19th richest club in the world. Why can't we sign players? We made £140 million in TV revenue last year. Why can't we sign players? We're not asking to go out there and try and sign fucking Ronaldo. We just want to sign someone decent. Chowdhury, if Chowdhury does come in, right, at, at this moment in time, you know, they, they put out a few hours ago saying, right, that's, that's the business done. We're not getting Chowdhury. His taxi was booked. Apparently, his transport was booked, but not not doing it anymore. And then apparently, we've came back now and we're trying to discuss a fair wage split for Hamza Chowdhury. But as it stands, Newcastle have let let us just get it up again. Newcastle have let um, let quite a few players go and brought in one in Joe Willock. All we've done is brought in Joe Willock. We're, we're on, even if Chowdhury comes in, Chowdhury's not the guy. Chowdhury's not the fucking answer. A Leicester City reserve is not the bastard answer. I think Chowdhury will actually be Harry. A lot of people are hating on him. Um, I look back at when Joe Willock signed last year, and that was a bit of a mere signing, wasn't it? No one really was over the moon with signing Willock, let's be honest, when he first came through the door. But I think Chowdhury would be a good signing. I think he'd be Harry. He's, he's, we've got now else in the middle of the park, absolutely lifting in our centre midfield options. So I think Chowdhury would be an all right option. Um, but he's not He's not the one to get you excited about, is he? He's not, even, and at this point, we haven't even got him. So we can't even get a Leicester reserve in, as it stands. Five o'clock on bloody transfer deadline day. Six hours left of the window. Or if you're a Newcastle fan, seven hours left of your Tuesday. Because that's all that matters. Deadline day doesn't exist in Newcastle. You've got Keith Downey, the North East correspondent. He's in Yorkshire. He's at Ellen Road. Because they're actually spending £25 million on a player. Dan James from Manchester United. And you've got Newcastle United, who have been in the Premier League. Longer than Leeds, obviously. All them years out of it. And we can attain a fucking player on loan from Leicester who can't even get on Leicester's bench. Oh my god, man. Can't be honest. Can it be honest with this season again? But Chowdhury, if he comes in, I think it'll be an alright signing, but we can it Kamara would have been the one. Great centre mid. Samori, who have been after for ages, great centre mid. Chowdhury, we've been linked with him for ages. Bruce has wanted him for a while just because he's a bargain bucket buy. Just because he's he's alone. He's cheap. Look at that. West Ham, Nikola Vlasic from Moscow, 20 odd million. Marvellous. Why can't we be signing these types of players? Probably not this year with West Ham being in Europe, fair enough, but 
every other year, man, in every other club that's doing business. You've got Norwich City doing more business than us, man. Norwich City doing more business than you, us United. It's unreal. It's absolutely unreal. I was just going to get up here what I had about the ins and outs from Newcastle so far in this transfer window, so bear with us in a second. Keep your comments coming in and have a crack with you soon. Everyone that's tuned in, smash subscribe, smash the like button. Newcastle's 2021 summer business in Joe Willock, full stop. Out, Andy Carroll, Josh Nurimuto, Henry Saivey, Henry Saivey, who's been here forever and on good money, slashed his off him off the wage bill. Haven't seen that reinvested yet, have we? Mint, Christian Atsu, Matty Longstaff on loan, and Florian Lejeune. Letting Lejeune and Longstaff go, and then starting Kraft and Hendrick, and not getting anyone else in, is absolutely mental. Right? Even if we do get Hamza Chowdhury in, there's, there's a centre mid. He's not great. He's, he's, he's okay. We'll see how he gets on. Give him a chance. Where's the where's the centre back? Have you seen how lifting our defence has been so far this season? The amount of goals we've conceded. We've conceded three penalties in three games. We don't think we need a centre back. Captain Lascelles, clumsy Lascelles. Yeah, Kraft not good enough. Fernandez is aging. Shaw never fit. Where's the centre backs, man? Right back Murphy could have gone forward. He's not the best defensively, is he? Gets caught out a lot. Manquillo, ghost. Haven't seen him in a while. Left back Jetta Williams goes to fucking Ovidius in Pet FC. Newly promoted side. No one knows who they are. Apparently, some of his work permit, whatever, doesn't matter. Get someone else. And Jamal Lewis, who invested money in last year, needs coached. So he's not good at any UFC, is he? Because we haven't got a coach. Graham Jones, is he? Is he? He's all right. You know, Bruce, you know, let me feel sorry for, for Jamal Lewis. If he had went to Liverpool last summer, when that Klopp could have kicked on. Look at Robertson. Look at that new one they got. Silicas, whatever it's called. He looks all right, doesn't he? There's, there's so much strength that needs to happen, man. Callum Wilson is injured at the minute, right? Good job of international break. You'll probably miss it, though. You'll probably, probably miss mine when he comes back. Who we got, then? Dwight Gale. And that's it. And that's it. After 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 Wilson, that's it. <laughs> so Wilson, like he is now, is injured. We rely on Gale, who is also an injury-prone striker. Then we're fucked. Then we don't have any strikers. We already play St. Maxman out of position, like most players. How have we not, why have we not got a backup striker in? Look at that Edward from Celtic. £15 million pounds to Palace. Fifteen million pounds, and we can't even get that. Brucey earlier in the week saying, "Oh, I didn't let Adam Armstrong go. If it, if it was up to me, I would have kept Adam Armstrong." Bullshit, because you had a chance to sign Adam Armstrong in the summer for what would it have been eight million or something? You went you went there fifteen, but we would have got forty percent off Sports Direct special because of the buyback, like the money we got back from Blackburn. Why not get Adam Armstrong to play up top? Why not get Adam Armstrong to come off the bench? The 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 the, 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 the squad is a mess, an absolute mess. People are saying Santiago Munoz in the comments. That, I think that's good crack. I think that's very clever marketing for a change from Newcastle United. But I can't even ride the vibe. I can't even get on that vibe. I, I think it's decent crack. Give him a chance. Mexican in a 23 international. Why not? Goal in real life. Brilliant. Hope the lad has a lovely life up here. Yeah. Hope he gets, gets his nice place in time off by the beach and find himself a lovely joy, lass. Good luck to him. Hope he does well and he actually ever kicks a ball in the first team because he probably won't. Look at Rodrigo Vilca. We actually paid money for him, and he hasn't even played for the first team yet. He's only just started playing for the bloody under-23s. So where is is, is Munez going to fit in? Do you know what I mean? Call for an extra in, in the new Pioli Bella. You know what I mean? Something like that. What's going on? Because he's he's never going to play. Poor poor kid coming up. Yeah, pissing doing the day. You'll be thinking, what have I done here? Yeah. What have I got myself in for? Stop the corona for the brown ale. Not Rona. COVID. Mexican drink. Lame. Now he's on the brown ale. And he's going to be thinking, what am I doing up behind the rain? Steve Bruce and not getting to kick the ball. 18 month loan. Who the hell signs a player on loan for the academy? I've never heard that before in my life. Never ever heard of that. Like, oh, we'll get him on a loan for the academy. Save a few good there. Eh? Bit of a Martin tool. Lovely. <sighs> Santiago Munez. Like I say, if we actually signed two or three more decent players this summer, I would have got amongst it. I would have been, ah, it's crack, uh, good crack. Uh, but... But at the minute, it's just like, ah, it's kind of funny that like, But uh, the first team's absolutely shit. So can we just focus on that, please? Can we get some players through the door, please? Yeah. You know, Munoz may as well just chuck him in. May as well be the next Muto. May as well get him in. Just get what's the, what we've got to lose. What we've got to lose. Because at the minute, we've got no one. Absolutely no one. There'll be no striker on the bench against Man United if Wilson's injury lasts 
until the last two weeks. You'll have Gale up top, and there'll be no other striker on the bench. Look, I mean, Andy Carroll, I, he wasn't the same Carroll from even five years ago at West Ham, I mean, 10 years ago at Newcastle. But he's still an option, isn't he? He's still a tool. I'm not taking the piss. He's still a weapon you can use. Long balls, threats in the box. He did well defensively. A, a different plan B, plan C. Bring him on, whatever. He's a handful. Yeah, he's not fit very often, blah, blah, blah. You let him go and you don't even replace him. You don't even replace the presence in the dressing room. You don't even replace the, the, the bench. It's a joke, man. It's an absolute joke. I've just seen there, Calm Lewis. I would take I would take CC back. I, I would, you know. Chelsea, bring back Lukaku. Man United, bring back Ronaldo. And we bring back Santiago Munez. Fuck me. I'd, I'd take Papi CC back to this. How old is he? I don't care. Just take him back, just for the crack. Because like I'm saying, we need we need numbers. We haven't never mind having a, a squad that is full and shit. We haven't even got a squad that is full. Just shit. We haven't even got enough positions to be shit in all those positions. We are a mess, like we are the worst one Premier League club in history. In absolute history, man. Gambling again, gambling again, and just it's a matter of time, like, Wilson's already injured. If St. Maxim gets injured, we're done. We're absolutely done out here. You know, we're already 17th after the August. And uh, Man United next. We'll be in the bottom three, obviously, by the time the next game comes around. And it's just it's just heartbreaking, man, when you see these clubs even lower than us, these newly promoted signs, sides, Norwich and that, making decent signings, OK signings, making signings. Never mind if you rate them or not. If you don't want Trout, you do want Trout. You don't rate Kabak, who's went to um, Norwich. Whatever. But at least they're trying. At least they're making the signings. The thing about this, about transfer windows, is you, that's the whole point of a new season. The new season, you look for the new kit. Oh, you rate the kit, you don't rate the kit. That looks. You rate the signings. You look for the signings. It was like the other, the other few weeks ago, pre-season against Norwich. You go to those games to see the new signings. Opening Premier League game, you go, you watch match of the day to see how the new signs are getting on for everyone. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. If you're a Newcastle fan, don't bother buying FIFA 2022 if you're going to play us as career mode because you're wasting your fucking time. You're wasting your time. It's mental, man. It's mental how we can not strengthen some of the deals that are getting done the day. We'll run through them soon, to be fair. Liverpool defending that Phillips signs a new contract. We will link with him. We might try and get him on no mic, eh? just for the crack. I t- it's coming to the point where you just take them just to, for hope that they'll do well, for hope that they'll they'll help us, because by God, we need all the help that we can get. Hector Bellerin finally leaving Arsenal, that's a bit mad. Hi, Thomas. I'm going to try to do some of our small club mentality, let us know how he's a feeling, because if Newcastle are going to sign anyone the day, it's going to be him. Uh, Fulham are in talks with Kraft first, I've heard of that. Right, as you run through your comments, it literally is. It literally is the most crazy, exciting transfer window ever. Probably when you look at Messi going to PSG and Mbappe is still potentially going to Madrid and Grealish going to City, Ronaldo come back to Man United, Lukaku going back to Chelsea, Arsenal being a laughing stock, spend 150 million pounds on nobody. You know, these sort of things. They're spending 20 odd million. Another defender there. Let us know how he is. I've never heard of him. Um, Chelsea interested in Saul from Atletico Madrid. You know, some big, big deals. Aston Villa, Ings and Buendia. And (sighs) there's Newcastle. Nobody. Because Grealish, not Grealish, I wish. Because uh, Willock was obviously with us last season. So I'm not really counting counting that. Thankfully, we signed him, obviously. But, you know, that's he finished the season with us. He played with us in black and white last year. We haven't got anybody else to look at this. We haven't got anybody else to look at. We haven't got anybody else signed a new player. Fuck yeah, now. Reading are in talks with Andy Carroll. Good luck, big Andy. Uh, no point in getting charity. Well, bloody Jeff Hendrick. Oh my God, man. Oh, it's definitely a PR stunt. Now. It's definitely a PR stunt. And 
It's like one of them things, isn't it? You're like distracting the dog. You're like, oh, play with a shiny toy over here. Stop barking at the neighbor. Look at this. Look at this over here. D don't take notice of all the signs we haven't made. Look at this. We've got Mules, man. We've got the goal film in real life. Nobody cares. Phil Jones. I was against it, but I'm that desperate. Ah, oh, Devin Ali, Phil Jones. Well, ugh, the state of our defence so far this season, bloody hell, I mean, what have I got to lose? It kind of getting any worse, kind of. The amount of goals we're shipping in, the amount of penalties we're giving it away. Get Phil Jones in just for the facial expressions. Uh, I I've, I've see someone sent me that before. That's a load of bollocks. I'm telling you now, there's no way we've put a bid in for that Kamara. No way. No way. Sunderland are even Sunderland are even signing more than us, man. League One, Sunderland. I must have Sissoko. Gans to Watford for two and a half million. He's still he's a French international. He's better than our like, Republic of Ireland national. And Jeff Hendrick and fucking Sean Longstaff. That's what that's the way it's getting. I suppose this is genius in a way, you know. From Mike Ashley, it's absolutely genius because we expect nothing, and then if we get anyone. We're kind of happy. You know, if we started signing players and we actually got players through the door, like like Chowdhury and that early on, you'd be like, oh, it's a shit this. But then if you get them in at the last minute, you think, oh, well, at least we've signed someone, eh? At least we've got a couple of, yeah, at least we've got someone through the door. We've got nothing to compare it to. So, you know, I take a homeless bloke sitting outside North Fulham Street all day. Nobody gives him a penny all day. End of the day, he gets given four pence. He's like, fuck, get in, I've got four pence. Four pence more than he had all day. But if he starts the day and someone gives him a five, our first person he sees, Someone else gives him 20 pence. He's like, I want your 20 pence. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the way we're at now. We're that desperate. We'd take absolutely anybody. Another mention of Papi CC, free agent Papis. Get him back to the old uh, Shisha Bar in town. I'm telling you now. We used to always bump into Papi CC at the Shisha Bar. What was it? Centre of Life. Back in the old uni days. Good times. Good times right there. A lot better than these times. We know it was Sanchez on loan from Lille. He's obviously got a Wolvesy. The only. Portuguese player left that they haven't seen. And uh, Renato Sanchez, I mean, when Swansea signed him, I thought it was an unbelievable signing, but uh didn't really do much there. But he gets his fitness up though, he's got the he's got the talent, like. This is the thing that's just really winding me up. I was pleased earlier in the window with the amount of deadwood that Newcastle have finally shifted, but we haven't replaced it. We've cut nearly a quarter of a million pounds off our wage bill a week, and we haven't replaced it. Ah, <sighs> No, we haven't. Yes, we are. Trying to get through loads or chat, 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 everyone. Keep them coming. Um, aye, well, I, I mean, where's the fun in that? <laughs> the sentence starts off, all right, but you'll be in a relegation fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, mint. That's that's exactly what I signed up for as a football fan, mind. Relegation fights. Lovely. Cheers for that. Norwich and Brentford spent more money than us. Same with Fulham. Who full I'm saying like? But yeah, it's, it doesn't matter though. Sure, they have spent more money. The majority of championship clubs would have spent more money than us. It's nuts, man. Absolutely mental. We do. We do need a defender and a striker. Swap them for Teddy. Yeah. Swap them for bloody uh I was gonna say Scott Parker, we're not the manager anymore, is he? Whoever the new manager is, Tecmo or Ruth, okay. Yeah, I mean, Bruce mentioned that oh, it may have to be two or three loans. We haven't even got one loan in. He said two or three loans months ago. We haven't even got one loan in yet. How can you not even get loan players in, man? You know, we no, I mean, actually, we've actually been quite successful, blah, 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 successful in getting loan players through the door. You know, even back to the likes of Light Remy and that. Like, loans have actually worked quite well for us. Kennedy, first time around. And then obviously Willock last year. Like, there's been quite a few. Utilise it if you can, you know. Like a run done, he's meant to be going to uh, Everton, and he will. Rafa, just have a look there, see if anything's about that. But I haven't seen anything about that. It was all over yesterday that was going to happen. Uh, yeah, Kellen Watts at uh, Wigan. I hope he does well, but you know, we need to, we need a centre back, we need a right back, probably a left back, definitely a centre mid, and definitely a striker, definitely a back of striker. It is a disgrace. It absolutely is a disgrace, man. Palace and Brighton, man. Imagine, imagine a few years ago if you were saying that Newcastle couldn't compete with Crystal Palace and Brighton and Hove Albion for transfers. 
No way, man. Tell me this isn't real, man. This cannot be real. The seagulls. The seagulls and the eagles outspending the magpies. What universe are we living in now, man? Shite one, that's what. Never met Armstrong money, bloody every money, every TV money. Yeah. Didn't even get started on fucking Lee Johnny. Like, Lee Johnny, £600,000 a week. Uh, not a week, a year. But £600,000 a year for Lee Johnny, and he does nothing. It's uh, how do people, you know, some people are just born with pure luck, like, aren't they? 600 grand a year. What on earth is he doing, man? It just proves it's who you know, not what you know. In this cruel world. <laughs> Ah, oh, feels cool as Newcastle finally, doesn't it? Jesus Christ. Well, he's going to have to be back. I mean, if he's not back for Man United, it doesn't really matter, does it? It, we could, it doesn't really matter. We're going to get pumped either way. Whether Ronaldo plays for them, whether Wilson plays for us, it's going to be 3-0 plus, isn't it? You know, it, it doesn't matter. So, just keep him for Wolves. <clears throat> oh, I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious about that. I seriously think it'll be six or sevens, like... Yes. Yes, I would. That would be the best signing of all we could make. Because Howard Lampard would actually come in, try and play entertaining football, and play players in the right position. As mental as that sounds, he would actually play players in the right position. He'd probably have St. Maximum and Fraser on either wing. You'd have Wilson up top. You, you wouldn't have this fucking five at the back, bollocks. So I, I would love Lampard or Howe in. And uh, you can keep your charities and you can keep any other bang average player that we're going to sign on loan, if anyone, in the remaining few hours of this window. Gavin Harris, eh? <laughs> Denver Ball's a free agent. Bring the boys back. This is all about the reunion. This transfer window with the Ronaldo's and the Lukaku's. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. Still do your job. He did look fit as a fiddle, like. <laughs> did that interview and I'll try to see. He wanted to come back to the Premier League, didn't he? I would take and Ketia as well. I got asked this on uh, Twitter this morning. Would I take Balogun? I said, nah, but I'd probably take and Ketia. And I would definitely take Mate and Niles. Has he been anywhere yet? Mate and Niles. Got, got Sky Sports in the background there. You just think I'm turning and looking into space. But uh, Mate and Niles, I would definitely take him. Like he was linked with Everton as well yesterday. Good utility play out of half. Uh, uh, Reese Nelson's. I've seen that before. Reese Nelson's went abroad, hasn't he? Please don't say that. I mean, I, I wouldn't quite rule it out, like, especially early on, it's not on good. Can't be tell happening to him, which is normally a banker for us. Luckman as well. Where's he gone? Where's Luckman gone? I missed that one. There's no way we're getting Rodriguez. I couldn't believe that link when it was posted. He's on 220 grand a week, man. We won't even pay 20 grand a week for Chowdhury on loan. We're not going to pay 220 grand a week. I was always positive. I was always saying, like, with the with the eleven on the pitch, with St. Maxman and Wilson at least, um, and Dubravka when he's fit, you know, I think we've got enough there, more than enough to stay up. But at the minute, watching us early doors and the atmosphere and the Bruce's tactics or lack of them, it's it's not looking good. Like it's really not looking good. Just trying to catch up with your comments, yeah. Fucking hell, there's loads of them. Hope all of you have hit that uh, subscribe button while you're here with all the comments as well. We appreciate it if you did. Two teams worse than us, Norwich and Watford. I think the thing is, Norwich are actually strengthening and Watford haven't got off to that bad of a start of a season. I thought Watford would probably ship goals in this year. They've looked direct, to be fair. They've got that Cisco. Eh? Cisco is the manager. And... um. I think that they should still finish below us, like, but the way the start of the season's gone, oh, oh, I'm good, like. Uh, 
No, I think he will as well. He was linked with Leeds when he was he was uh, in that Leeds documentary. He was actually at Leeds, ready to sign before Man United came in for him. So I think Man United was just too big, too big of a stature of a club for him and everything. I think at Leeds, Leeds still a huge club in that, and I think the style of football that Leeds play, you'll be a bit more of a star man there. I think Dan James will be have a really good, really good spell at Leeds. To be honest, I do. I think you'll you'll be decent team players on cut the back for Bamford. I, I think you'll get on well. Hello, Omar. Oh, that was a oh, that was a typo though. It's Matty, not Marty, not Marty G Shaw. Hi, um, hi, mate. Just hope you get one in the door. That's what I mean. At least if you get one, even though a lot of people aren't getting excited about how their child reads. One is better than none. Sometimes might not turn out to be that way. But, you know, it, it goes back to what I was saying earlier about it's the hope in it. It's the hope that you can see Chowdhury on his debut against Man U, probably not Man U, wouldn't matter, against, you know, Leeds the week after or whatever. And people get excited about it. You know, I wonder how he's going to get on. I wonder if he'll do this, wonder if he'll do that. It's nice to see someone else in the new shirt get excited. It may not be wanting to lift you off your seats. Definitely not. But, you know, he could still be an Irish player. He scored a rager against us. He gets stuck in. So, you know, that the middle of the park for us is bleak. Anyways, so give him a chance. If he does come in, still arguing over his wages. So, sell <laughs> Miggy needs to meet the paint the training ground. We should be able to paint the bastard training ground and the concourses and the stadium off the money that we've saved on bloody Saibay's wage. And that's who, and Carol, and Muto. You know, we've got enough money there to, to not be living in this, living back in the fucking early 2000s. One way ticket to the championship. It's looking that way, mate. It is looking that way, unfortunately. Daniel Sturridge is just, he's still knocking about, I guess he. God, I wouldn't trust his uh, I wouldn't trust his legs. Too many injuries, too old now. But at this point, you can have his back up. He'll just be the next Andy Carroll for won't we? Yeah, why not? Took him in there. One well, go straight around the bench against mine. It is his stance with Wilson being out and Gale starting that one. Ah, yeah. Good luck with that one. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really, really bad. It's really, really bad. Like, look at we've let players go in the past and haven't reinvested. Southampton, sold things, boom, Armstrong in, straight away. Straight away. Kept a hold of James Ward Prowse. Decent. You know, like, oh, I'd love to see David Luiz on a free just so everyone could chunk all the genie at him. That's true, and no, we actually, because obviously that Ozan Kabak went there, um, Brandon Williams went there, who we were linked with for ages from Man United. Be interesting to see how they get on. Like, let's hope not very well, because we're banking on Norwich being below us this summer. We should definitely get me on nails. Has he went anywhere yet? He's probably answered that. Asked it before, but I haven't got those comments yet. Danny Drinkwater, is he actually going to Redden? Wow, what a fall from grace that is from for Danny Drinkwater. If he's actually going to Redden, Jesus Christ, that's uh, that's awful. That like went to Chelsea, won the league with Leicester. Now he's at Redden. Pretty fit, right? In the Newcastle, working on two deals still, and things have changed since this morning news. Is that is that, is that actually what he said? Has he? Let's see what uh, Luke Edwards is actually saying. Then you can't be trusted very much, like because. Uh, You know, you got everything wrong this morning. NFC Transversion is not done for the day. Still working on two possible deals before the deadline. Let's just see if things change. No guarantee either will be arriving, but there has been progress. Well then, well then, let's wait and see. And let's hope I can do another video later when we've actually signed players. But uh, as it stands, a few hours left of the window, we've got no one. And I'm not I'm not confident at all. I thought Chowdhury was definitely going to happen this morning. And then, um, well, all window really. Don't know why it's took this long. And then it came out that he hadn't. You know, look at yeah. What's he saying, yeah? He's saying, yeah, as well, Luke Edwards from the Telegraph. By my reckoning, Newcastle, the only club in Premier League whose squad has not been strengthened from the end of last season. Permanent saying of Willock is a positive, but with Carolina has gone squad over a week than it was in May. That's what I said at the start of the video, man. And yes, if I was Bruce, I would quit. Because he's been shafted, but he won't. Rightly or wrong, you would think he was letting the players and staff down. Oh, bollocks, man. Bruce isn't gone anyway. He doesn't give a shit. Doesn't give a shit. 
trying to say Bruce is a uh, Bruce would never ever walk from Newcastle because he'd never get another Premier League job again. And you'll want that compensation package. And he's a fucking coward and a shite manager. But let's see who these well, one of them will obviously be uh, Chowdhury. One of them will obviously be Hamza Chowdhury. But uh, see who the other one is. I doubt there's that Kamara. Well, you know, the French news are saying we'll put a bit in for him. I wouldn't believe that at all. Um, see who the other one is. Maybe me and the Niles, maybe a striker. I, this is the thing that Newcastle will do, though. They'll try and say that. Uh, they'll get they'll, they'll get people like look at everyone to put tweets out saying, oh, we're trying to get a couple of players. And they'll come at 10 o'clock the night with an hour to go and be like, yeah, I couldn't get them over the line. Couldn't get them over the line. I haven't heard that one before, have we? So it's all bollocks. It's all bollocks. I'm staying on this. I'm staying on this train until someone tells us otherwise. That would, now it's happening. Caught a Vickers. No, not caught a Vickers. No way. Spurs. I know when a Spurs want a permanent transfer for him. I see how lifting he is. I think he's injured anyways. But I was watching a uh, expressions watch along and the Tottenham game, the first one, the Conference League when they played that team away. I had no idea who they were. Um, and he was horrendous. The expressions was hammering as well and saying he was shit. And he is. He's no, no, you do not want Carter. I think that's no better than what we've got. Absolutely awful. But um, the Hams are 60k a week. I uh, obviously loan signs you'll argue on a split. So Newcastle probably only trying to give him 10 grand a week, make Leicester pay the rest. Surely you can do a 50 50 on that. It's awful that we are clutching at straws for loans. Why can't we spend money? But. How long have we been? Lone Castle United now, though. Lone Castle United. For a few seasons now. Easy for years, really. Absolutely. And even an apology, remember? Remy and that. Lone Castle United. But if I was a player, right, and you look, you look at Newcastle, now, under the ownership, we're always in the news for the wrong reasons about protests and the takeover being failed and Mike Ashley still young, yeah, Bruce being shite and fans not wanting Bruce and the football being boring. You'd probably look at that and go, you know, I kind of didn't fancy that. Like, didn't fa That's why I was surprised Willow came out because I was surprised he obviously he just wants the football, wants to progress and that. But oh, why St. Maxim's still here? I thought St. Maxim would leave. I really did. All them cryptic messages and that as well. Um, because you just think to yourself, where's the where's the motivation to sign for Newcastle at the minute, apart from the fans, apart from the fans in the stadium? You know, we used to be such a big, big draw, man. But now, under the ownership, under the management, Premier League shaffing were fighting relegation every year. Where's the motivation for a player? I go, oh, tell you what I want to do. I want to go play Brucey Ball. I want to go be a part of that five at the back team that doesn't touch the ball. Doesn't create chances. That's what I want to do. I want to finish 17th at best, you know, or 12th on the day if it comes to it. If we get, if we scrape it. So, uh, yeah, I do think it's to the stage where they'll play a lot of players will look at that and go, nah, I'll go to, I'll go to Leeds. I'll go to, I'll go to Villa, go to West Ham, go to Everton, go to the Championship. You know, people I've seen before, people choose me, Redden, fucking hell, Fulham. Yeah, I ah, stay in London. Can't afford them. Fuck it. Can't in Norwich. Norwich. Norwich over Newcastle, man. We are fucked. We are absolutely fucked, like. I hope it is me and Niles that way. Yeah, that's a that's a grim stat. That like. Look at how much we fell since then and now. We may have stayed in the vision, but we've stayed where we are. We have not progressed. Look at Wolves to be in the Europa League. Leeds got a decent manager, playing nice football, getting better every year. Villa, didn't even have to mention them. Spending the money that they've made on Grealish and more. Pushing Brentford, better football than us. Norwich, signing more lone players than us. Bring Marvo back. Bruce gone for Christmas. Um, I'd hope so, but I wouldn't bank on it. Not after, remember last year, we went 20 games without a win. Big thing there is obviously the fans went in there to voice their opinion, but still um, still can't see actually pulling the trigger. Like, now would be the first perfect time, wouldn't it? Uh, national break, but that would make too much sense. And he's not going to sack him after three games, is he? Yeah, I'm almost 17th at the minute. Ashley's happy. Ashley's out of the moon with the table. 
Lookman's going to Leicester. That's the one. Very good signing. Very good signing. I think you'll fit in well there. When was you replacing Damari Gray, you would have thought. Nice. Nice. Some good wingers there at Leicester. Some good players all round. Must be nice to be a Leicester fan. All right. Have I, has Newcastle even been talked about the day on Deadline Day? Have I just put it on now? And I've got back in. Oh. Um, I w Time will tell on this, like, but, but I've seen them play well sometimes, especially against us. But then I've heard from Leicester fans that he's not our great. So, but remember when we were saying Bullock? You know, all the Arsenal fans were happy to see him go. And no one was asked about him. We we even wanted um, Maitland Niles then instead of Bullock. You know, we wanted Bullock was a bit like oh, a bit of a mare signing. So Hamza Chowdhury would probably be the same. But if you look at our middle of the park and how awful it is, it probably does make it better. You know, can't it be any worse than Jeff Henry, can he? And Sean Longstaff for me, for me, you know. He's worth a punt, and it's, it's hope that he will pull something out of the bag for you. I think he'd be Irish. Ben Arthur. We've got Ben Arthur, CC, and Ball on freeze. Get them in. Few hours left. Yeah, if it, if it, if it, that's, that's what I'm on about. Like, where it's got the point where you're desperate to you take anyone, I'd be happy to see Charity coming through the door just because it's a new player. But realistically, he's not that guy. He's not going to change it. It's not going to be exciting, is it? Kamara would have been exciting. Samori would have been exciting, you know? I swear right there, wouldn't it? Yeah, Lewis. Yeah, the realistic ones, Eddie Howe, straight away, free agent, came through the door. Decent football. Bring them all back. 2012. Kid from El Paso, decent, eh? Rondon's close to saying for Everton, is he? Oh, it just gets worse. Rondon as well, start the summer when he was asked on Twitter, when he, oh, would he just re-sign for Newcastle? He says it would be a privilege to re-sign for Newcastle and play in the black and white again. Ah, well, shame nobody at the club fucking listens or does anything about it. My God, man, I'd love that. Rondon and Wilson up top. Deadly, deadly off top duo that like, and even off the bench, Rondon, even rotate, rotation, whatever, be a great option to have. Yeah, well. Apparently, in talks with two, two players, if you believe uh, the Telegraph, one of them was obviously going to be Hamza Chowdhury trying to get his wages sorted, trying to split the wages. Um, who knows who the other one is hasn't been mentioned rumours that it's Kamara a money permit offer <laughs> can't see that happening and then uh, the other one is maybe Maitland Nails yeah who knows there's a bargain that like bargain tomorrow great 1.7 Rafa's bargains uh, he's not complaining is he he's at Everton he hasn't even been given loads of money not complaining though is he no Country, Tridini went to, uh, where's he went again? Tridini went to the championship, honey. Can't remember. Look at Birmingham, I think. Sheffield Wednesday is saying Berahino, Saido Berahino. Remember him, Jesus. Where's he? F he came from Zulti Varagam and Belgian say. Remember Berahino, man. He was linked with us, he was linked with us for like 28 million pounds years ago. He's linked with Man United and everything after that blind day with West Brom. God, his career went down now. Berahino. <laughs> He's thought up front. I get Tazu in here, centre back. Oh, it is awful. Oh, 100%. 100%. Aye. He's got to. Wouldn't blame him at all. He's too good for us. Look, he's the only difference every week, and he? he's too good for us. Way too good for us. Phil Jones, that could actually be him, you know. That could actually be the other, the second bloke, the second geese, the second transfer rumour. Could actually be Phil Jones. I could see that, like. Oh no, no, not Carter Vickers, man. Please not I'm telling you now, we don't you don't want Carter Vickers. We do not want Carter Vickers. Carter Vickers. Can I be asked that like? 
try to catch up with some of your comments. Scrollsies, upsies. Uh, Mexicano. Santiago Bunes. Same feeling of 23s today. Well, it's got worse, if anything, because we've sold the players in depth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true, like, I'll be looking around and going, fuck this, like, get me off this boat, get me off this boat right now. Uh, well, Rafa and Rondon, eh? What happened to the Sean Longstaff link, eh? Wanted Longstaff for 10 million, apparently thought I'm not paying that, like, fuck that. If I can get Damari Gray for 1.7 million, I'm not paying 10 million for Sean Longstaff, but he's free next year. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, it's very close. At least we have scored more goals than you. At least we've scored more goals than you, like. You know? And these are lower than us on the table. So I'll smile and gloat about that while I can because it's not going to last long. Same someone else today, though, also. Again. So just need to get rid of the manager. It'd be hard to disagree with that, like, to be fair. Like, I mean, look at when I was growing up, you had all three were in the Premier League. Or our son and Newcastle used to be our match of the day. At least we're still on it. Just. But um Son and the one and Burra stuck in the championship. Newcastle flirting with relegation every year. Uh, North East football is definitely not alive, like definitely not looking good. Oh, I rolled now. Do you remember Charlie's horror tackle on Matt Ritchie? But um we need a bit of bait like that in the middle of the park that we do. Andy scored a screamer against us as well, so let's hope he does more of the latter. And get red cards, but he didn't even get a red card, did he? I mean, he broke Richie's leg. But if it was for Newcastle, of course he would. It was always a uh, temporary. Graham Jones only signed a contract for the Euros for England. He was never going to stay permanently. So that's what that's all about. But it's good because uh, you know we don't want any distractions. We wouldn't wouldn't want to go away on international duty this week, would we? Oh, hello, kid. He was a good season because, yeah, that's probably going to happen. <laughs> probably going to happen. Yeah, Ben Offering on a free. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd take it, Antoine Sibierski or Chef Kikuchi at this point. Like, it's only a big Kuchi up top, man. Well, not really Kuchi. I used to like Sibierski, though. Sibierski. Boss man in the air. Uh, in the UEFA Cup, like boss man, red and all looking at Andy Carroll. That fits to be fair. Good luck to him. Enjoy yourself doing uh, two minutes a week. Um, Muna is decent on FIFA League One standard. <laughs> oh, please, no. Well, this transfer room I got squashed real quick this morning. There's Brooks from Bournemouth, the winger. Apparently, there was we had a scout watching them on the weekend, and then I think they wanted about twelve million for him. That immediately stopped any chance of us signing them. Came out this morning on Newcastle uh, talking to Bournemouth for Brooks. We talking three minutes later. Oh, uh, he's not coming. But quick, I wanks then. Fucking that transfer rumor. Got four of them. Four of them in the squad. Apparently, this year, uh, three of them. Can't well. Gillespie's fit, isn't he? Gillespie, where's he at? Not good enough, really. Brought him in from Scotland just for the crap because he's a Geordie, mint. And then uh, the rough guy in Woodman. Darlow. So from a COVID still, long COVID. Nightmare for him. Horrible, that. Like, the rough guy with that infection on his, uh, on his injury. So I would say I would do need a decent goalkeeper, but we're not going to spend money for them. And we've hopefully got the rough guy and Darlow coming back in the next... Uh, Month or so, we need the Rafka back big time, like big time. Oh, I absolutely love Martin A, like, but there's no chance that's happening. I'd even take a uh, in Ketia, I would take in Ketia. You're absolutely right, Tommy. We shouldn't be in this situation, we shouldn't be in a situation when there's just over five hours left of transfer deadline day, and we've got Willick, and that's it, and we've let several go, and we're all buzzing and itching and hoping that we're going to get a lone player. At best, at best, 
Leon Best. We're going to get a loan player. That's 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 all we're hoping for now as a loan player. That's this is the awful reality that we're in. That Newcastle United under uh, Mike Ashley, it stinks, man. It really stinks. How is it? How is it this bad, man? Where's the fucking money gone, man? Can it be asked? Uh, I kind of swear with you on anything but Bruce at this point, but um, I don't know, like, because I, I don't rate him at all. But I tell you what, he's won an FA Cup, which is one trophy more than Bruce has won in about 30 years of management. Arteta has been a manager for, what, two years? Bruce has been a manager for 25 years or something. Well, if that's true, then there's only one place he's going to go in it. And if he chooses the bloody Molyneux, Birmingham, over St. James Park in Newcastle, that tells you everything you need to know about Mike Ashley's Newcastle and that Steve bloody Bruce. If you're choosing... That Kamara was linked with everyone, you know. Kamara, I fucking hope he doesn't go to the Wolves. I hope he doesn't go anywhere but us. I mean, he was linked with, with us for ages, and then I think Chelsea was sniffing around, Liverpool, Tottenham. Whoever gets Kamara, I think he'll be a baller. I think he'll be a very, very good player. That would be one that would actually get you excited. So, you know, if we actually have made an offer for him, then that would be that would be great. But I doubt it. I doubt we'd put the what fifty million, whatever it is, up front for him. Nah, this was one that was linked a lot early in the window. Ross Barkley was okay at Villa. Had spells last year when he was uh, in and out of fitness. I think I think, but I'd take Barkley. I'd, I'd bloody course I'd take him. I wouldn't of fucking Jeff Hendrick. So I'm not sure what happened with that one. Uh, I would still offer more than on me, run. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. Like, touches in the box. I look like a player that we could do with right now, didn't he? Fucking hell! Uh, he got man of the match, and he's a uh, in his debut for Aberdeen from the from the Aberdeen fans. Matty Longstaff, well done. Played about 60, 70 minutes, I think, in his debut. Well done, Matty lad. Good luck, dear. Adam Armstrong's on the phone. Don't know why. On Sky Sports. Not that he's ringing me. He's on the phone now. The other Geordie. He's not Geordie. Pete Graves. He's on there. Sky Sports. Um, oh, he isn't Geordie Pete Graves, isn't he? I don't know. Who's the plot now? I've been gone for 50 minutes for you, though. Eh? Just watching everyone. Hit that subscribe button. Go on. Takes a second. Go on. Hit it. Don't know that the bar was really good. Wait, well, apparently he was at... Um, New big golf course of a day now. So, he, uh, what's going on there? If he's going to Barbas and playing golf and that, let's hope he's on the men. Hopefully, he gets back soon. Um, I couldn't believe it. You know, we we were obviously there on the weekend for uh, the Southampton game and the state of the concourse and that one. And some of the it got even worse when people were sharing ones. On Twitter, I've like there's like a ripped Shea Given poster from the nineties that's still up in the concourse. Shea Given left the club twelve years ago, and the pictures of us from the nineties, and it's still in the concourse. There's still Puma signs everywhere, Puma signs everywhere, and they're not even with sponsor anymore. Fucking hell, man! And it's just so, oh, it's just so dated. It's so dated and scruffy, man. It's awful. Nightmare trying to get a paint now. Takes fucking ages to get saved. And the tiny screens. Stay to the tiny screens. Oh, Maitland Lale's staying at Arsenal, is he? Surprised that, like. Apparently it was a uh, work permit issues why we missed out on Jet Row. Billy Gilmore would have been alright. I think Conor Gallagher would have been even better. Scored on the weekend as well, didn't you? I think Conor Gallagher would have been a good signing. Aye, me as well. Me as well. I mean, what, I don't understand what Bruce is getting paid to do. You see him... You've seen him in the penalty shootouts and that in the cup games. Not day and out. Nowhere near the squad. 20 yards away, picking his ass. Ordering a kebab for, for, for. Well, we're getting knocked out in three minutes, so get a quick one round, yeah. I don't get what he got. Jones does all the training. Jones does the, the tactics, apparently. So 
what the hell is Steve Bruce getting paid to do? That means a fucking waste of time, man. Where are you getting this information from? Because, <laughs> because I've got my phone here. No one's telling me no. And uh, and I've got Sky Sports News on in the background, Delhi and Day, and there's absolutely nothing on there either. So, didn't be listening to these in the new accounts and all that bollocks on Twitter. You didn't want to believe them. Absolute weapons. But I mean, I hope, I hope, right? I hope we're saying, I don't want quite a bit, but I hope we're saying one or two, like, it'd be nice. So, uh, I play all over, mate. Play all over. Newbiggin, Linden, uh, Parkins. Ah, that was a shot, mate. Oh, that's awful, that thing. Probably out of date, the kegs now. Yeah. Well, she's on a free eye. I like because he was proud. You know, he was proud on loan the championship last year, wasn't he? Straight in their 23s, man. Mate, then I've been going there, you know. If you want to see the rant, the rant was at the start of the video, good 10, 15 minutes of it, whatever. Um, I really hope, I really hope that I get to do another video later on tonight. I'll, I'll be back with you tonight. I'll go live again if we actually sign anyone. Um, so that'll be it. You won't be seeing me again until the weekend. <laughs> Not even the weekend because it's a national break. But no, I do. I, I hope that would obviously sign someone the day, you know. Would, even if it is child, at least it's a body through the door. At least it's someone that, that may kick on for, that may improve the midfield, not guaranteed, it's not super exciting or out, Kamara would be, that would be one to get excited about, but at least it'll be someone, at least it'll be something, and then um, we'll see who this other one is, apparently according to the Telegraph, you know, if there is a second player link with, if it is Carter Vickers or Mate and Nails or Jemba Jemba, anybody with a double barrel surname apparently, or another striker, you know, but as it stands, Newcastle, <sighs> A few hours left the transfer window, and they've only signed Joe Willick. And uh, he was obviously here last year. So we haven't strengthened. We've actually got worse because we've let some fringe players go. Well, they weren't great. Atsu, Carroll and that Muto never really played. But at least they're there as an option. At least they're there in the train. And at least you hope they're going to do something. You've got to replace these players. You've got to, re you've got to replace them for the, for the bench, for squad depth, for rotation. What are we doing here, man? What are we doing as a club, man? It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. But we'll see. Keep your comments coming. Let us know if you think Newcastle will sign anyone in the closing stages of the transfer window. Got five hours left of deadline day. 11 o'clock at night. It shuts. So Newcastle seriously need to strengthen. We need a lot more strength than we've got. We still need a centre mid, a striker, a right back, a centre back and a left back. We might get a centre mid and we might get a centre back. Um, but probably not. Probably not, yeah. I mean, Phil Jones is another one, actually. That, you know, <laughs> Ooh, we'll see. Shout out to Sam Bob for that. Run on Rafa's Everton, salt on the wounds. It is salt on the wounds, isn't it? It is salt on the wounds. Because just when you switch on match of the day, when it comes back, two weeks' time, we've been beat 6 0 off Man United. You have to watch Everton after that. And you have to watch Rafa celebrating with Rondon after Rondon scores on his debut. That's how bad it gets. You know, that's how bad it is now. It is salt in the wounds. It really is. Brilliant. And the thing is, now Rafa's at Everton, right? And he hasn't cried about his budget like everyone accused him of up here. And he hasn't when he's that he's, he's spent no money. He's made some astute signings, I think, in Rondon and Gray. And what, they've won the first couple of games, haven't they? They've won two or three of them, whatever. You know, they've looked decent. Brilliant. Brilliant. Cheers, Ashley. Oh, I've got Bruce. And no new signings for now. A few hours left the window. I'll see you again tonight if, we, uh, if we're saying anyone. If not, scroll back the first 15, 20 minutes of the video and, uh, and watch watch the rant. And that, that'll sum up Newcastle's transfer window of summer 2021. Cheers for watching, everyone. Subscribe to the Mac by Channel on TV. Smash the like button. And we'll see you later.